Good afternoon, friends. It's always a pleasure to be here and to to be talking to all of you. And um, unfortunately, because of this COVID crisis, uh, we have all been at our respective homes, and uh, you know, it's a work from home thing that is going on. But uh, despite that, I'm sure uh, many of us will be doing good things, and we are already working on a lot of stuff. And uh, we are trying to make use of each day because I take this as an introspection. Uh, for me to look within and see what areas can I improve upon, what areas can I work with, you know, and how I can be more productive. And in fact, um, uh, surprisingly, uh, uh, for most of us, this has been a very rewarding uh, period. And uh, with keeping in the government uh, regulations in mind, we have also tried to uh, better ourselves. And uh, I'm very, uh, uh, you know, fortunate to have worked on some really good things in this last. Uh, one month plus or 40 days, if I may say, the period that we all have faced under lockdown. So uh, to begin with, um, I'm 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 very happy to be here again on this platform. And uh, uh, before I uh, you know uh, left or we all came under the lockdown, uh, I had mentioned to you about uh, an upcoming book of mine called Rich R I C H, and it's based on a self uh, help uh, thesis, and it is something that I have. Formulated as a as a theory and as a model that we all do, we all will uh, benefit from. And I have personally benefited immensely. So, as a part of that, I had introduced to you my R and my I of the rich theory. The R was for resourcefulness, and the I was for the influence that you can make on people. So, those videos were posted here, and now I bring to you the C. You know, and uh, the C simply means commanding. And uh, commanding, when I say it is commanding, which leads to care. So, to give you an example of how this really benefits, uh, in this lockdown, you know, uh, every one of us had two choices. One, uh, we could just succumb to the pressure or the the, the surrounding, which is probably a little depressing, and uh, because you are just at home, uh, unable to do anything, meet anyone, and uh, those things where you physically need to be there and deliver, you are unable to do that. And therefore, you know, it lands you in some kind of a situation where you're not comfortable. And the second thing was to rise above it and see what best you can do, how you can better this thing, and uh, you know, uh, make it worthwhile for you while you're in lockdown. And this is something I called as a situation of command, where you are commanding. Now, when I say command, it does not necessarily mean that you're being a dictator or you're being arrogant or you're being uh, someone who's just, you know. Uh, throwing your weight around, commanding means you are controlling the situation. You are controlling the situation, thereby you are caring for the situation. Because the situation or the circumstance or the environment that is there around you, it is something that is out of your control. Because you can control things internally, but you cannot control things externally every time. You know, there are some things which will happen, like this lockdown. You cannot control it. It is there. It is um, it is on your face. You have to accept. Now, what you can do is command the situation and see what better I can do. So, the theory that I have formulated it takes care of you being resourceful, having your resources in place in terms of your contact, in terms of your skills, in terms of your abilities. Then you have influence, the power of influencing and the power of communicating, convincing, and uh, getting the situation as per your. Initiative or your thoughts and making the best out of it. Now, when I say commanding, it is in line with this. You know, if you have the resources, if you have the influencing ability, and if you have the uh, the commanding, uh, you know, strategy in place, you can hold the situation. So, to give you a simple example of how I use this in this lockdown, I decided that you know it's impacting every industry. You know, as we all know, the lockdown has impacted. Every industry, and with most of our lifetimes, this is the first time that we are witnessing a global crisis where more than 200 countries are at stake, and they have really no future. Uh, they don't know what they have you know, coming up tomorrow. So I decided to have a lot of uh, people from different industries come on a platform, talk about it, give us their experience, give us their measures, give us their solutions to talk about what they think should be done ideally in this situation. 
Now these people who came together were experts of their industry. They were senior people, leaders of their industry, representing manufacturing, media, IT, HR, finance, and more. So we had a three days of uh, webinar sessions for this, and uh, I decided on doing this. I immediately commanded the situation in terms of forming a team, getting hold of the right people. Uh, approaching almost 75 to 80 people in that span of uh, uh, 8 to 10 days that we did this event in. Three days was the main uh, event uh, period and the rest of the days were the preparation time. So I got a team together, I explained them, reached out to people, gave them the context, gave them the content on what they speak to and I called this webinar series as Are You Future Employed? wherein we had to uh, talk about what comes tomorrow in terms of our employment, what comes tomorrow in terms of business opportunities, how does it look and for me, I am very glad to share that I had people from different industries come together and uh, from countries like Africa, Singapore, India and uh, of course Dubai, we had people talk about it and senior leaders from companies like Rolls Royce and uh, Sozlon Energy and uh, you know many other Macware Capital and many more companies they came like I said very senior people they came people from media came uh, I was very fortunate to have Mr. Dr. Ganesh Natarajan uh, a very well known name uh, in the IT area in the IT industry who spoke about it Mr. Girish Chitle the owner of the Chitle Foods uh, brand a popular brand as we all know leaders of this stature they came they spoke they they talked, they gave their insights and it was a learning experience not only for me but almost for 40,000 people approximately where our sessions reached you know because I streamed this live on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook business page so this was what I did with my lockdown and of course many other things but the primary thing that I want to take this opportunity for is this webinar so this is what your commanding streak is two commanded things I did not just sit back and regret and uh, feel bad about the lockdown and like I have lost a considerable amount of business because of this lockdown. I was in, in the middle of a lot of good projects that I was working on and uh, I have to uh, you know um, equate it to monetary terms it was a reasonably good amount. Now I did not succumb to that, I did not feel a uh, you know, thing, of course it is a dent in my uh, in my career right now but I am sure things will better and we all will be out of this and maybe we will do much more better but this is how I commanded. So friends this was the C of my rich theory, my upcoming book, uh, management book which is based on this model of mine which I have used in my 18 years of career and it has so far been very beneficial to me. So if you are resourceful, if you have the ability to influence, if you have the ability to command the situation, you for sure can be a winner. And what does that H stand for? That I'll be sharing with you soon in my next video. So for now, I will end it over here. And I look forward to your feedback, your comments, your suggestions, your disapprovals, approvals, whatever it is, please do uh, share and I would be very happy to be a part of it. And thank you so much for listening to me and watching this video. I shall be back soon. You guys take care, stay safe, stay home. God bless.